best golf I have ever played with the new clubs. It, you don't have a better feeling. There's really no better feeling. Absolutely destroyed it. Steven, a new golfer, a new man, the greatest. Anyways, I got a mask on my face. You look like a pigeon. Anyways, welcome back to another Steve and Casey video. Today is a video you've all been waiting for. You've seen the title. You may have seen the, the thumbnail. Probably not. But we are at the PGA Superstore to start this video off. Step number one is to get a golf bag. Step number two is to go to Garrett's car and get the clubs. Step number three is to go to a golf course. But last night, Steve did it. He get five subscribers. All because of you little freaks. And I appreciate everybody to subscribe button up to this point. You absolute legends. It allows me to do, I don't know what I do, honestly. You just watch my videos and I, I'm a very bad golfer, but I respect the grind. Anyways, if you're new to subscribe button, if you're old subscribe button, like always, it's never an option. It is mandatory. And if you do not slap a like on this video, you'll never make another par in your life. Unfortunate events. But anyways, thank you for 100K. I really do appreciate it. I have another video coming out. It's going to be like kind of like two-part type deal. I'm going to give away a gold golf ball. <laughs> Whoever wins, wins. Anyways, we're going to get a golf bag and then go look at the golf. I'm going to get some golf balls. I'm also going to get a glove. I'm about to spend some, some cash. We've made, we it, made to it to the bag. Part two of making it to the bag. Anyways, this is literally Garrett's golf. Stop. Get down. There he is. That one's clean. I don't, I don't like the holes in it. There's too many holes. I need exact files. I think I might go with this one. It doesn't have the lots that I usually would prefer because I do lose a lot of my clubs. Like I put them in all the wrong holes. So that's unfortunate, but this might be it. This is how Steven be walking around. <laughs> Brainless. Just Garrett and Steven golfing. A golf clubs are on the left hand, right? Yes. Did this fan really just say, hey, do you put a golf glove on your left hand? It's been acquired. $300 has been tossed into a golf bag and a golf club. I have golf balls, so we don't really need that, but what we do need is the golf club. Colin, do you whip a Tesla? Oh, we even listen to that song. Buddy. Wait, let's listen to that song when we get in. Young Gravy. <laughs> How does it feel to have a golf bag? Well, golf bag, that's the first step. Now I gotta go get the golf clubs. This might be on a different day, so I'm gonna be probably wearing something different. Let's cut to it. We're gonna do this in the middle of the street, because that's just what Steven does. I'm not gonna show you until they're in the bag, so. If you've been waiting to subscribe and waiting for me to get a bag, now is your time. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Let's see if we can't get 10,000 subscribers off of one video. It's nearly impossible. Well, let's do it. 15,000 likes. That's that's the goal for this. 15,000 likes. That's it. 20. 20,000 20, likes. All right, we have made it to the course. You saw me picking out my bag. I picked out a bag, some golf balls, and a glove. And so that was basically like 300 plus the golf club. So this is this is gonna be wild. This is gonna be insane. I'm gonna take it to the golf course. We're gonna unravel what Steven got. We're gonna hit some shots. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Slap a like on the video. I want this to be one of my most liked videos just because this is such a big moment. I waited until I hit 100K just to prove to myself that I could do it and you animals we're along that journey. Steven, no golf club, no golf ball, no golf shoes. I'm not getting golf shoes. I'm not getting golf shoes or golf clothes because that's too much. Anyways, a lot of things happening. I'm getting golf clubs. I bought a car. That's coming soon. But yeah, we're going to take the clubs, unravel them. Got to hide what they are to the course. This is a big moment. I, I know I'm not showing the excitement, but geez, this is insane. We have Matthew Sharp. He is also doing a what's in the bag. So you're about to see what we all got. It is insane, dude. Trust me. All right, for the bag tour, here's the thing that I'm working with. I ordered clubs like three months ago. Now they just got here. So what I got, I'm not sure about. Like the order kind of got mixed up. We're going to see what happens. I'm getting club fitted, an actual club fitting here in about a month. So I'm going to have another set and I have another set coming. So I have like, I'm going to have like three sets of clubs. So don't worry about that. So let's jump into it. All right, outside of the bag, we're going to start with that. A Callaway glove. I'm going to slap that on real quick. Boom, I got it a size up because I don't like gloves. Golf ball wise, let's open this up, come here. We have a bunch of Wilson staff golf balls. I got the colorful ones because I don't like the white golf balls. Matt. You can't ever find them in the woods. Yeah. No, see, now that's a smart play by the man. You go one zipper up, you come look in here. You have a bunch of good, good golf tees and uh, like divot, divot tools, good, good divot tools. If you haven't subscribed to Good Good, what are you even doing? What is this called? Good, good towel. Golf towel. Good, it says good, good on it. Anyways, that's that. You've already saw the three wood, Maverick three wood, Maverick driver. I also have a two iron. I'm switching this out for a hybrid. This is a Wilson, this is a Callaway? Yeah, that's why I, want the, I want the two iron. Where'd my, 
Where did my Wilson? Derek gave me, never mind. This is a Callaway two iron. Honestly, never hit it before. I just put it in the bag so I would have something because I don't have my hybrid right now. So that's pretty sweet. These are Apex Pro foraged with the smoky finish. I did it for looks, but also these are really good clubs. And I was going to get the, like the cavity backs or whatever, but I was like, if you're going to get better at golf, you got to get clubs that are going to actually help you, you know, like in your game and stuff. And then I got the Jaws wedges also in that smoky color from Callaway. These are beautiful. Never been hit before. All this has never been hit before. And the only club that really matters the P wedge. is the P wedge and honestly I'm trying to decide because I want to keep this club for like I want to use it for a little bit and do a giveaway give away my first club ever which I think would be really cool uh the triple track you are you already saw the video that's my putter but this is my golf bag I hope you guys enjoy I, I literally have everything I finally have some clubs boys slap a like on the video here let's let's start peeling them off these are the first time they've been used peeling oh god peeling off the five iron Ooh. Oh man, I'm look at those things. Dude, they are so look at that. Jeez, Steven. The seven iron. I've never hit these before. Matt, yeah. Matt, I, the P wedge, the look most it, important get club. It, get it. Ah, Bam. Clean. The wedges, these have never been hit before. Can you believe that? I waited till 100k and now I'm gonna have three sets of golf clubs. Steven is built different. <laughs> We're gonna play a couple holes and I'm gonna come back and see how I hit the ball. I don't want anybody to get mad at me. I, this is my first set of clubs ever. I do not research clubs. I, it's not like soccer where I know every little part. I don't know what the difference is. I know these are a lot harder to, to hit than TIGs. Like, a, what did you get? The, just the regular Apexes? These are something that no, I should honestly not be hitting these, but I thought if I'm gonna get better at golf and I'm gonna test myself to the limit, I better get some that is gonna actually test me and if I'm good, I can hit these. I have no idea. The head seems to be smaller. I don't have a cavity back. I, it's literally, these are the clubs that I all honestly should not be hitting. Teach me. You talk about these clubs. Talk about what, how, what, just talk all about the clubs. Tell me about them. Oh, also, here's another thing that uh, these guys are not good enough to get. I got the graphite shafts. Knowledge. Don't know what it means, but I got them in graphite. And I'm going to become one of the greatest golfers ever with these clubs in my hand. Mark my words. Matt's my caddy today, anyways. Carry that. I got the tee, I got the golf balls. We're about to smack one to the green. Anyways, we're gonna go to a range after this. So this is just, can Steven shoot par with these new clubs? Probably not, but he's gonna try. <laughs> Been there before. Been there before. That's all right. Hey, it's the first, I, no excuse with the drivers, honestly. I'm, I just wanna see how the irons and stuff. So we're gonna test that out on this. God. Dang, Steven has golf, dude. I, you don't understand how good it feels. It's so dumb because I literally could have bought them the first day I started a YouTube channel, but I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. Most of the times when we go out into film, we use one golf bag. We don't use other clubs, so it's just different. So there's really no use. I never really needed it, but now Steven has golf club. Ooh, look at this shot. Kind of pretty. How far am I? 78 yards. That is a light, light 56 degree. Here we go. On the right side of the green, First shot with my new wedge, 56 degree. I'm gonna take it over the tree. I can actually see the flag just over that bunker. So that is where I'm gonna take it. We're putting. Yeah, Matt is a beast. Anyways, we got a putt for birdie. First couple shots, I'm not gonna lie. Get in the back. They feel a little longer than all the clubs I've ever hit, which is key, because I usually use this, oh my Lord. I usually use mats, which is, we're not gonna talk about it, but this is the first first time I'm ever playing a hole with my own golf club. This is, it's unmatched. Like, I'm glad I waited so long, because this feeling is amazing. Look at this putt. Matt gave me a perfect line. I put a nice little tight draw up in there. Go ahead and line me up, Caddy. Like, what are you doing? I'm just seeing how you're performing with these new clubs. How are you liking I it? I mean, you haven't even hit your irons yet. The irons don't matter yet. We got the fanny pack Matt lining me up. Let's see if we can't start off with the bird. Oh, oh burnt the lip. I, I messed that line up. You had the right line. Anyways, can't, yeah, the, the par. Can't you literally can't complain with the par. Thank you. I have two caddies a day. Special. Thank you. Tig's almost at 50k. If you have not noticed, literally after this video, it'll be at 50k. Let us know if you want us to that all get crazy. mics in our videos. I, I mean, I think that'd be kind of dope. Yeah, if we all were mic'd up. Yeah, it'd be nice if we just had Colin at our disposal, but he has stuff to do. No, but if you want Tig to have these, go in his comments. Also hit the subscribe button. Steve, how do you like the triple track? Triple track is amazing. It's. Why do you, why do you think you went with the triple track? Because uh, I'm not a good golfer. 
That's usually why you get those. Not saying that anybody gets those is, is a bad golfer. It's just for me, it, it's generally for people who struggle with putting. I mean, I think it's helping your putting. I do too. We're starting off with a slight bar. Irons only? You should do irons Ooh. only. I love it. Hit your four iron off the tee. All right, we're gonna start. I hate the four iron, but we're gonna do irons only. Like he said, to get a better feel on this hole, I'm gonna hit irons only. I already know how the driver works. I already know how the wedges work. It's iron, baby. Iron time. Starting off with the par, honestly, can't beat that. Here, a little backstory. Four iron, hate it hate that club. We're gonna see how I hit this one. First shot with the iron, boys. Irons, boys. I was just gonna say, why does Steve always gravitate toward black outfits? And then he ends up with black golf clubs and black shafts. I like the color, just like my car, it's black. All right, Tig, how far should I hit this four iron? I think if you hit it around 210, it's gonna be good. 210, got the glove on, 210, I like horses. It's graphite versus steel, but there's, there's not a ton of differences except for the fact that graphite is supposed to, like, if you have a group that's this big, let's say graphite's supposed to bring that group just a little bit smaller. Um, there's a little more forgiveness in graphite shafts, that's one thing. So, Steve, you did good getting graphite shafts because there's more forgiveness in graphite shafts. I think they're just the 95 gram standard shafts, but graphite, I love them. That's what I had in my last clubs, and I think you're going to like them. Hit a draw. I hit a draw. But look, as you can see where I hit the ball. Off the toe? Gee. <laughs> that was way out there. What a beautiful shot. The fact that you hit it that far on the toe and it's still, like it wasn't a crazy hook. It was forgiving. A forgiving shaft as Jake said. All right, we are 283 out. Irons only. It's, it is wet out here, so I'm going to do that. Irons again, so what should I hit? We're gonna lay up with the seven iron, hit it right, right before the card path. Car pass. That was perfect. Look. Car pass sign. Dude, I think I like these clubs a lot. You did it. You got the right thing for once in my life. Just got to get that up and down for a nice little birdie. Ugh. 130 out. This is a P wedge pin in the back left. This tig set me up perfectly. We're going to grab the P wedge, the most legendary club I have ever used. First thoughts? Absolute money. Here's the thing with this. Yeah. Right? I don't know if it's actually this P wedge out for you. You might have to take a little bit off. Okay. Like, because you're right now he's hitting a draw. I don't know that he's going to hit another draw, but if you do, I feel like this is going to go really long. Okay. So just be mindful of that. But right. over that bunker on the green, 50 feet. Five. Yeah. Look like he's trying to take some off. I respect the grind. I don't know. I try to take some off, and when I do that, I don't, I don't take a divot. So then that causes me to power thin it. Anyways, another. Once we get on the range, we'll really tell. But right now, I'm making pars, and I'm hitting balls far. Fight for them, actually. I'm actually fighting for them. If you haven't caught the merch, then what are you doing? What do you usually use to chip on the green? Fifty-six. Like I am putting. Forgiveness is what I'm seeing in these. I, I can't say that. I cannot say that yet. If I finish with par, then there it is. You're you gonna make this. I can feel it. Yeah, if I've been, this is for my bird. I'm putting, boys. New clubs, feeling great, making pars. What can you more, what more can you ask for? Steven's the greatest of all time. I'm gonna go with the no lineup. Uh, yeah, I was... Good speed, Steve. Wow. Oh, I was wrong. Good thing Steve did that. Yeah, I, tr I trusted my line. It did break left in the beginning, though. All right, here we go. Tap in for another par. All right, just like that, we're... Two pars in a row. We have a long par three, which is really going to test out my strength tick. Two pars in a row. That was a par with wedges, with irons only. Honestly, this is the hardest par three I've ever played, and I always go in the water. So guess what Steven is not doing today? Going in the water. Exactly. These past few weeks have been insane. I hit 100K. I bought a car. I got golf clubs. I played golf with a gold golf ball. What else can you ask for? It's either five or six iron. Wind in the back tick. Would you recommend a six? I'd recommend a five. Okay, recommends a five. Another club I hate hitting, so we're gonna hit it. We're gonna test out Steven's limits today, baby. Krispy Kreme, I hope you like the audio. My cameraman, AKA my, Colin Ross. We're going no glove due to the fact I think that causes me to hit it left. We're about to see what Steve can do. 220 par three. Bunker. Bunker. Just off the toe. I'm hitting the ball. That is key, Tig, right? Hey, it doesn't matter if it goes two inches, it doesn't matter if it goes two yards. Actually, all I'm happy for, you guys have seen me on this hole. Water every time. I probably hit 15 balls in the water. Gotta scramble for a par. You gotta fight for the par, you know what I'm saying? Fight, fight for the par. Every time I do that, I just look at my hat. <laughs> Fighting for pars. I need to make a par. I need to finish with a par before we hit the range. I need to feel good, you know what I'm saying? I love this weather in Texas. A little bit of hoodie weather. You can't beat it. It's honestly not hoodie weather, but Steven loves hoodies, so. Wow. Well, 
It's wet, it's soaking wet. This is the first time I've ever hit a six, this six degree either. So we're about to see what happens. Steven. Oh! Cool. It's the clubs, dude. These clubs are amazing. I'm gonna be competing against Tig. <laughs> we got a nice little par putt. Finishing this out with a par, you literally can't ask for anything better. The line is there. Let's Freak go! Yeah. Let's go! What's happening with you? Should I, should I play one more hole? And this video might be a little longer. I want to play one more hole to keep the par train. We're going to go for the par five. Got to get to use a driver, get to test out another club, which is probably going to be my eight iron. Yes. Dude, what the heck? What is going on? And once he gets clubs, he becomes a professional. You're literally going to see me on tour next year. Decided to do another hole, see if I can't get a bird under the belt. We got a par five, a long one, and you got to hit it over water. It's a debatable hole. Tiger! Look at that. Oh, oh my. Deadly accurate with my driver now. Put yourself in a position to go for it there. You think you're going to go for it or lay up? You mean this is a, what's in the bag? I'm going for that stuff. We're going out to my ball and we're going to debate whether to go for it or whether to not lay up. Do I want an eagle putt or do I want a birdie putt? If anything, I'm going to miss it left. Five iron, I'm going to lay up a little bit. No, JK, I'm going for it. So let's see what happens. Well, I went for the green, didn't hit the green, laid up about 20 yards out. This is going to be a good birdie. It's going to be a good birdie, boys. Best golf I have ever played with the new clubs. It, you don't have a better feeling. There's really no better feeling. Absolutely destroyed it. So basically what happened is I hit the five iron. I hit it way long. I thought I was in a good position, but I'm not. Green just over there. I'm just going to play a flop shot. This is where it gets tricky. All right, guys, here we go. This is a risky chip. Got to get it up. Got to get it down. Right over Colin. How's it, how's it looking, boys? I'm gonna go for a birdie. I didn't bring my cutter. That was a nice little flop shot. Krispy Kreme. My main worry was the small club head, but I think I've got to the level of golf that it really doesn't really matter. I still, I, as long as I can make good contact, which is key. I feel like I can control these clubs too. Steven, a new golfer, a new man, the greatest. Anyways, here is the finish. This is the finish with a birdie. If I do this, boys, you gotta slap a like on the video. Here we go. Steven. Oh, oh, never leave a birdie foot short. Never. At the end of the day, four pars. Four pars, brand new clubs. Do you have my head cover? Slap the like button for four yeah. pars for Steve. Slap the like. Anyways, that is gonna wrap this part of the video up. We're gonna go, if you wanna see me hit more in depth each club, we're gonna go to the range. You can go watch that. But this was the golf part of it. I wanted to jump right into it, see if I liked them. I love them. They're amazing. Really, really, really good club. I really have no worries. This is some of the best golf I've ever played. I probably could beat my record right now, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go to the range. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. Catch you on the other side. 20,000 likes. 20, 25. 25K likes. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> I hope you heard that Hopefully sound. I'm okay. Do I look a little different? I hope the sound was loud. But anyways, we're at the range. We're going to finish the video off by hitting all the clubs. There's a couple I did not hit, which was... Hit the 52. I did not hit an 8. I did not hit a 7. And I, nine. I'll just hit e each club like four or five times. Yeah, start with the, he's gonna start with the 60 degree. I love the color of these clubs, if I'm being honest, you guys. Dude, I'm glad I got these colors. All right, wedge shots. How far can you hit the 60? I, I don't know. Let's let's aim for one of these white, that white palette or that white palette over there. All right, let's go for this white palette on the left. All right, that's a pretty good shot. I think it's gonna be a little short. We are out here at the Highlands Performance Golf Center, and it's got a mini putt golf course that we just played for Collins Channel, and they have a range, and actually I think they have a nine hole golf course out here as well. So make sure you guys check them out if you're ever in Texas. We're gonna have Steve keep hitting his 60 degree. There we go. That's pretty good. You guys can tell that when he hits his wedge shots, it's probably when he's the most dialed in um, because the wedge shots, he doesn't have to hit as hard for the ball to get exactly where he wants to be. So I feel like his wedge shots for all these clubs, especially with the Jaws technology and the Callaway clubs, it's going to be a lot easier for him to hit more precise and more clean shots. I'm telling you, we get some golf shoes on this man, and uh, it's a game changer. 
It's going to be interesting to see where Steven's game at is with the irons. I don't know if he's going to get as much distance as he used to have or if he's going to lose some distance. Don't quite know. Because you're going to miss the center of the club face a lot more, I think, with these clubs in the beginning because the club face is it's a lot smaller. It's like a, it's like a mat size club face. So it's going to be a lot harder for him to hit the center of the face. We'll hit one shot with the P wedge, make sure I still got that. I just want to go to the irons because that's what matters. It's a smaller head on this P wedge. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to that red flag. We're um, just going onto the grass. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hit a couple P wedge shots off the grass. Wow, these clubs are amazing. I thought hitting the center of the club face would be a problem for me, but not at all. That's the P Wedge, a beautiful club, my favorite club. I might give this away in a couple of months after I use it, maybe make a, whole, a couple hole in ones. We're gonna move on to a nine iron, boys. Nine iron, you see it, Apex. Just to let everybody know, I'm aiming at the 200 mark. <laughs> Dude, these smaller club heads are amazing. I feel like I'm hitting these better than I hit any other club. Well, they're all my club. We haven't hit the eight iron yet, so let's look at that before we hit it. Beautiful. <sighs> this could be a game changer. Honestly, the miss isn't bad. I just missed that ball. Not bad at all. I mean, I think I'm gonna be deadly on the course. I haven't missed a shot. My misses aren't bad. I was scared that they're so small that I'd miss a lot, but dang, I'm hitting every shot pure. Seven iron, next club. Listen to that. Listen to that. Dude, listen to that ball. What are you doing? Bro, this, the going, not get, getting the harder clubs to hit, the Apex Bros, smartest decision of my life. <laughs> Baby flayed. All right, one more. The seven iron is another club that's hit or miss. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Steven. I'm gonna move to the six iron. This is it, we're getting to the clubs that I can't really hit when I hit Garrett's or Matt's. That was center of the club face, so I just pulled it a little bit right. But left. This is getting. This is. This is gonna get a little tough. This is the club that I don't like. There it is. Wow. I'm gonna have to master the distance on these as well. I need a range finder. That's the next thing for the bag. Bro, that contact is in the center of the club face, something I always have a problem with. It's weird, dude. All right, next, five iron. The good thing is I went and played first, so it's not like I don't know if I can use them because I went even par through four. Doesn't really matter when you hit it straight down the fairway. Center of the club face, Colin. I don't know, it just I've hit alright, we got a four iron, and that's that's what that's the what's in the bag. You already saw my driver, a three wood, you've already saw my putter. Here we go. Four iron. I hit this a couple times a day. Pretty interesting club. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Bro. Here we go, final shot with the four iron. Oh my lord. <sighs> Colin, Colin, Colin. A three wood and we'll hit one driver. I've already shown you these clubs, but this is my Maverick three wood. 
I'm a Maverick driver. I don't hit a three wood much. And one thing that's missing is my hybrid. That's why I have a two iron in the bag. I don't use it, I just wanted it. Three wood, see if we can't keep it right over that 200 mark. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think all the lessons are just paying off right now. Play that all day. All right, that's my that's my three wood Maverick. You already know the vibes. We're gonna finish this with the drives, a couple drives. I've been messing with my driver. I don't know. Have you noticed, Colin? I'm teeing it up lower, <sighs> keeping it under the wind. <sighs> Has one mean slice. You know, <sighs> yeah, slice it like Steve. Gosh, that is cranked. Well, those are the clubs I have. That's basically the, what's in the bag for 2020. I'm getting two more sets of clubs. I honestly did not expect to be able to hit these clubs. That was my main worry was the smaller club head. I really didn't know what I was getting myself into because I, I never researched golf clubs. I just hit the boys's. I think once Steven gets fitted for clubs, we take him to someone, a professional, who looks and analyzes Steven's swing and figures out, all right, listen, this is the exact perfect club that you need with the right shaft because I think part of it is shaft as well. I know he's got the graphite, which helps him a little bit with the swing speed. But once we get him dialed in with the pro, your clubs that you get are going to be so suited to you that it's going to be so hard to beat you in real golf. Yeah, the problem is, like, I get I get these tough clubs and I will use them until I'm good at them. Exactly. Because like, I just, I don't know, athletically build like a tank and i figured out everything but those are my clubs i got the apex pro forged there the color is it's Steamy, smoky 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 something 2020 what's in the bag steven wild and i hope you guys enjoy this is what you've been waiting for you've waited a while for this and it's happened i hit 100k and did a bunch of big things i love it let's see my journey we're gonna have a match with the new clubs coming up but oh, yeah, that's, that's for the that's for the future but uh we'll catch you in the next one shout out to colin for recording shout out to horses for horsing around and uh, we'll catch you in the next one i hope you guys enjoy stop a like on the video if you're new if you're old it doesn't really matter it is mandatory though i'm just here uh, we will catch you in the next one yes.